All right, greetings, guys. Uh, I'm Dale Perryman. I'm cueing you, Mike. Mike Carmindra. Kip. Kip Cohen. And what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to talk about the rules of an options trading contest that we're starting on uh, Monday, and that date is Monday the 27th. We'll be having two contests. Uh, one contest is only put in call uh, buying, and Mike has kind of dummy proofed it to kind of make certain other trades besides that illegal. We're starting with 100000 in our paper trading account. Um, I believe in the buying and selling. Um, what did we decide we're limiting the size of each underlying, Mike? Uh, we're going to go with 5% um, uh, on the column put buying for okay. underlying, and then 10% 10% for the entire margin of the trade on, per underlying on the selling in the spread. Okay, the second, the second contest will be, you can put on any spreads. Spreads could be uh, a credit put spread, uh, poor man's covered call, poor man's covered put, Calendar. uh, calendars, straddles, straddles, strangles, and any option selling. Yeah. Selling a naked put, selling a naked call. Naked, naked options are allowed because um, we believe that's part of a core strategy of, of premium selling and, and, you know, but we also believe that it's, a, it's an important part to, to assess risk and naked selling that we want people to understand. And where uh, that one will be 10% of your account value. So no underlying, underlying means an underlying is like Apple or uh, Cisco or Microsoft. Can, no underlying can be over 10% of your account value. So for 100,000, it'll be basically you couldn't use more than $10,000 of buying power. So that's a little bit about the contest. We have approximately um, 16 people. They're not all playing in both contests. I believe one contest has about 13 people that are buying in for $50 a piece. Um, the other one has about seven. So that's kind of where we're at. We're also allowing some people to uh, play for free. They won't be uh, uh, a candidate for the prize pool. 65% will be paid out in first place, 25% for second, 10% for third. Basically, the goal is to get your money back in third place. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take you and show you how to set yourself up to create a simulation. We're going to talk about how to make a trade. There's uh, 10 minutes left in the trading day, so we'll make a trade. Then I'm going to show you how to go into settings and name your portfolio something unique, and then how to create groups. Ready to go, guys? Yeah. All right, good. All right, I'm going to share a screen here and go into, and as, this, is my, this is my homepage. Uh, can you guys see? Yeah. Okay, this is my homepage, and if you create, click on create simulation immediately. It will name it your uh, trader name at trade diff, and then it'll add the words a simulation portfolio. So if I just click on create simulation, it would create another one. I'll go in here to Dale's simulation portfolio. And um, there's, I'm starting off with hundred thousand dollars up here at the top where it says trade, make a trade. So if I'm trading, Apple, A-A-P-L, you type in an underline, click on get chain. And then if I wanted to trade, the, these are all expiration dates. Every option has an expiration date. The monthlies tend to be more liquid. I'm gonna click on August 21st. And let's see if we can sell a 350 put in Apple. So I click on this, if you hover over it, it'll say, that buy, we want to, in this case, sell, dummy proof it. We're mostly option sellers, so sell the 345 or the 350 put here. Uh, over here, we can see it has a 28% probability of exercising out of the money. So let's go a little further, be a little more conservative. Let's sell the 345 at $5.70. Now what you can do is you can toggle here and change the number of contracts that you want to sell. So if I was in this contest and the margin was 42.83, I might choose to double it, sell two contracts, 
and then I click on, I get $42 a day in daily theta decay. Uh, describing exactly what that means is, is another session, but I click on submit. And now uh, that's in my portfolio. So now I'm gonna teach you kind of how to set up groups and how to name it something creative. So you can go up here at the top where it says settings, you can click on settings. Then you can click on portfolio. Then I can name things uh, creative, uh, Dale's goofy demonstration. And, and just, a FYI, if, 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 just an FYI, just an FYI, everybody can actually do this when they create their contest portfolio to rename it to something um, distinguishable. So we yep. can all um, you know, see, the, see what's gonna be updated on the leaderboard. So before Monday, if you would uh, rename your portfolio something and then uh, click on update after you've named it. So now if I, I click on that, uh, you'll, it, it's, it's, it's renamed. Now what I wanna do here is scroll down to new groups and you can create all the new groups you'd like. You know, in this case, I sold a uh, naked put. So I'm gonna create a group called naked put and click on create group. You can do as many groups as you like. The purpose of groups is so that you can track how you're doing at the end of your contest. You can see how certain uh, groupings perform. So if I want to go in and then click on um, this portfolio, Dale Goofy Demonstration Portfolio, now I have that apple. And if I click on these three dots next to it, you'll see that I could add it into a, a section. And then in this case, it's called, um, naked puts. So I'm going to click on that and it's now in that category and over the next 45 days it will graph the performance of that category. So assuming I had uh, five or ten different underlines it'll uh, graph how we did on that underline. So that's kind of the gist of uh, what else do you want to say, Mike? I just wanted to add a couple that, that the importance of the grouping is um, twofold. You know, you get you get um, nice organization in your portfolio to see what's different, what's to help, what's performing differently. And then the, the, the performance tracking that we do on the grouping. So we can you can compare how your naked puts do against your, um, uh, you know, long calls or something like, or long stock yeah. um, over time, which is important to, to be able to see this, the distinction in that over time. And we track all that for you if you if you do the groupings. So let me kind of talk about kind of where we're going. Uh, periodically, what I'll be doing is doing demonstrations of certain types of option trades. I assume that each one of those will be five to six minutes in length. So I'll do one on a, uh, that was an example of a naked put. I'll talk some more about it five or ten minutes. I'll do one on poor man's covered calls, poor man's covered puts. Uh, Mike might do one on diagonals since that's kind of his thing. Um, and uh, what else, Mike, might we demonstrate? Well, I mean, it's pretty much up to the contestants. You know, we'll, we'll along the way we'll we'll do we'll do short videos, educational videos of whatever people want to see. Um, we're here to help. There's a Dale um, before you. There's a collaborate tab um on the contest that you can ask questions in everybody can has access to so everyone can collaborate through that area and ask questions and we'll we'll post videos and, and things like that for people to you know to learn from during the contest okay this is uh the collaborate tab that mike's talking about so essentially um if you want to talk to a specific individual so for example if you wanted to talk to me about dale's goofy demonstration portfolio you could click on this collaborate tab you can then post links uh, of videos. You can poke uh, uh, something in here, a, a suggestion, uh, you know, crazy trade, uh, Dale, and, you know, and, and then I would see it and I could respond to you. We'll also have later a, uh, a leaderboard and, if you, and this is kind of your homepage. So it'll be here under contest. This is our last one we did, uh, the trading boot camp. But this will be updated in, in real time to show you how you're doing on the leaderboard. And if you want to collaborate with the entire group, you can then click on collaborate and the entire group can see those chats. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to keep these things short and I think mission accomplished. We pulled this uh, a lot of stuff in about 10 minutes. Um, 
We'll see everybody Monday. If you have questions, shoot me a text if you have a, or, or an email and I'll get back to you promptly. Or you can go on the site and put it um, in to collaborate and, and we'll see you in the contest. Thanks. Okay, thanks guys.